Here we go with a super long range. Yeah, bolt action kills over 80 meters. I'm not sure how I'll do with this scope. Oh, that's a, that's a zoom right there. This guy was shooting me, that son of a bitch. At least he distracted him. <laughs> and he had a friend. Fuck. That's on me. We did get one kill though. And there's quite a bit of quests we can do on streets and reserve and shoreline. I think we go streets. Good spawn to get um, the security done or surveillance or whatever. We gotta go. We gotta go into security room. I think surveillance is actually over in Pinewood 215 or something. I don't have that key. Night target in streets. It's nice because the PMCs you run into will usually be a little more kitted. And a lot less player scabs. You don't have to deal with hordes of player scabs. So, like, the fights you get into, if you win them, will be worth. And you don't have to deal with hordes of player scabs trying to come steal all your loot. One on the I'm gonna grab his storage rig. scab over here this is a good round we got all three of the things we came in for the cowboy hat the yushanka hat and the 6b47 hopefully the car's up because i'm pretty sure i have a quest for that oh wait I think that might be the next quest that one of my quests unlocks damn i'm about to start ditching a lot of shit I just need these requests. I could find them again pretty easily, but at the same time, I'd rather just get that shit done. Yeah, that was actually really big, that raid, because we got the car repair done. We got dress to kill. Gonna need some capacitors. It's fine. It's fine. We got that guy. I think we go one more time and I'm gonna try to knock out all the quests we have on streets and then also get one or two more six before seven helmets. Easy peasy. I think the I think the BTR is fixed now. You can kill scavs and you kill player scavs and the BTR shouldn't aggro you unless someone pays it too. Ah, uh, the tanks we have to mark. One of them's over here. The, the it's like in the middle of the road. Could always be worse. Don't get close to that car. That car has a much larger radius than the other things on fire. Holy shit! Scared the fuck out of me. God, that made my heart skip like five beats.
The sniper's coming me? What? Damn, sniper scout with burst fire. That's scary. Let's go called Spectre. I had to go over to the post office, but I also have to kill sniper scabs, so that's why I'm kind of circling back to get this guy. If he's going to prone, you can go up to the third floor here and still get him. His little head will peek up over. they didn't just immediately shoot me sometimes the scabs are just so derpy and then other times they're like fucking trained combatants they don't say anything they just just tangle down and what the fuck man i have enough half masks wouldn't hurt to get a few more though just in case see like that right there like what the fuck dude his very first shot That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad he didn't headshot me. All right, let's find this letter. That dude's vision is insane. Since when do sniper scabs get their shots? They have it out for me, this trade man. This is it. There we go. I need the sodium for the barter. I don't remember what for. Oh, I should write it down. I need this pack of. To the march room. Do you think we get an ammo box this round? Here we go. Here we go. Damn fuck. You've got bleach on your t-shirt. Let's say from the rear end of the model. Probably feel like an asshole. One round of BS. What about this? One round of BCP. Is it really just one round? No, oh, it's 40 rounds. Okay. All right. I mean, that's solid. I'll take that. I don't see anything else.
Looks like he went to throw a nade. Oh, he might have a PM pistol. That actually be really big if he has a PM pistol. No, you TT pistol having asshole. What Smurf said. 3 a.m. on a Wednesday. I'm gonna knock out the rest of these quests and we bounce. He's got night vision. I led way too much on that scab. It's okay, I'm getting tired. I'll cut myself a little bit slack. But I better not let it happen again. Okay, we gotta go down to the last building on the left. Ooh, it's been hit. Shame. I think someone's in this raid. That was a good round. We got a lot of quests done. We got the, uh, yo, Cameron, appreciate the Twitch Prime, by the way. I'm sorry I missed it. We got the, uh, two bleach. So now we have two helmets. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, I meant to go into that. Oh, well. we did there we go up to 31 cool. now the question is what do we want to rock with the aka i'm thinking the sr25 because this is full meta nah it's got the carbine rear stash volume 37 mil on this account i could have this hoodie on this account Go drop 12 doll hairs, get it on the hardcore count. Is that urban responder? We get these pants too. Do I do it? These are the three that we can get. Then like. That was pretty cool too. And then on the bear side, you get these ones. The G99. This one's actually pretty fucking nice. I'm a little jealous. That drip's actually pretty nice. How much is it? $12 for that one. It's the top and bottom. $7 for that one. $5 for that one. No, you can't get the bear drip. I fucking wish, brother. I would buy that G99. What do we think? Yeah, a new drip would be super ideal, but I mean, they add new drip and what are you, you going to have people on the opposite side complaining, why are you putting time and effort into new skins when there's a cheater problem, right? <laughs> they, they can't win with that. I'm all for them selling skins personally. As long as it stays within the realm of realism and something that you'd actually see a soldier running around with. If it, as soon as it goes Fortnite route, you know, or PUBG where, where they're just selling bullshit, that's where I'll, I'll be heartbroken because their skins in game suck ass. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna like go hardcore ranty, but these skins suck ass for like what they could potentially do with this game on skins. They don't even have matching fucking bottoms, dude. They give us a top, but no bottom. Like, lo look at these, bro. Who the fuck wants to wear these as a bottom? Yeah, bro. Or, or tattoos, facial hair. Uh, just all overall, like being able to separate gloves from shoes from your actual kit. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you could you, you could go into so much more customization in the character. Which again, it, that shouldn't be their number one priority, right? The game's not fully released yet. That could come down the road. And I'm just ranting because I I really like the drip. Like, I'm all for making my character look badass. Oh snap! What is this? Oh my god, my, I'm a Chad. I'm a Chad, dude. We're gonna start the day off with a little bit of Punisher, as well as Tarkov Shooter 4. Four kills there, four kills here. We have a big day on Hardcore today. Big day. 
Honestly, I'm not too worried about looting. We'll get it. We'll get a bag off a of scab. All right, I need four kills over 80 meters. I also need four kills with a pack and six B four seven helmet on. If we post up here, we can wait for someone to go to the village. This is a very easy way to get the 80 meters out out of the way. I don't think I'm patient enough to sit here and wait though. But the village is like uh, someone always comes to the village always and for a first rate of the day part of me thinks i should slow play it a little bit it's on like donkey kong damn i think he pushed over to the left why would he not want to loot this stuff he walked over here i don't think he went into the house looked like he walked behind it yeah he, he didn't go in the house wasn't close enough hmm. and go up top i have to mark the thing up here anyways What do we got here? Yeah. Take that. Take that shit ammo too. And homeboy did just leave the village. What a dick. Absolute tease. I gotta plant at this thing and then we got a chance of getting the kill up here. With no arm stam. Okay, it would have been like over here. There he is. Oh, we kind of need this SKS. No, uh, I need this helmet for Punisher. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Fuck. That would have been it. audio pop over here they're down low two of them uh -oh. let's try and get them oh fuck they could have wrapped anywhere. Oh, we only got 10 minutes left. Okay. Let's go grab the letter that we need. Maybe we spot him on the way out. We picked up one kill. I'm happy with it. We can get the plants and 
the letter and that will still be a good round. We picked up an SKS. I do not think we have much time left for our dailies. I'm pretty sure that's what that one was. We got one marker on the far side and then one far left of us. Seven minutes left. We might not be able to get both. We try though. I thought there was two over here. I knew there was this one, but for whatever reason, I thought there was one on the other side of that wall. I'll definitely make it. I'm right by the extract. Uh, I'm going to go to max traders for sure. And then might start up another challenge and then finish out the cap. It depends on how much fun we're having with it uh, towards the end. But it's it's been a lot of fucking fun. A lot of fun. So... I mean, that wasn't the worst. As we picked up one more for Tarkov Shooter 4, which is honestly pretty solid. And we picked up one more for Punisher Part 5, which is pretty solid. I need to get a PM pistol. Oh, the Sturminator's up. I need that SVDS. I really, like, need it immediately. But I only have one SVDS for Punisher 6. I think I have to get 15 PMC kills. The one I have is a meta build. But like the ammo from it and the mags. And then of course the gun itself would be very nice. But going to the lumber mill is going to be a shit show. When Sturman pops off and or there's no pack of loss. Everyone bum rushes the sawmill. Good opportunity to pick up some kills though. I believe he didn't get down immediately. I should have backed up and went for the 80 meters. Scary. Open ground here. That's not good. Hmm. I think Sherman's maybe still up too. Yes. Wouldn't mind uh, going and taking him out. I killed that fool already. Oh, 
one of those kills counted. Oh god. I should have taken more of a mental note on where I killed this guy. There he is. I mean, I would like it. Maybe we can get Punisher done this round. Or I could just take it. That he did not. German sub too. Okay. I wonder if Sherman's still alive because we could go for him. Shots over by the extract. I don't think I'll make it there in time. Let's try and doink Sherman if he's up. We're not shots over here. That is him. But no one's looted him yet. Super risky place to loot him too. Oh my gosh. Your movement so sporadic, brother. It wasn't over 80 meters, but... It is the kill I needed. Well, he's got no guess guess. Dude, going and looking for... Going, going to look to loot the boss is gonna be sketchy.
Okay, now we just have to choose what we want versus what we don't. We definitely want the, the SVS, so that's a given. We're taking that bad boy. I think we ditch the STM, as sad as it is to say. Hate to say it, I think it must be done. Yeah. Check the guy, dickhead. No, I don't think he had a bigger bag. He was, he was timid. I think I count this win and we just work our way out because we got an SVDS. That's, and I need the SVDS. If for Punisher 6. We got quite a few kills this round too. I'm happy with it. Um, I think we finished Punisher, did we not? I'm not tripping. I think we maybe need one more. For the space. I'm going to ditch my armor. I don't need the Paka anymore. Good run. Punisher 4 done. Punisher 5 done, rather. Punisher 5 done. Some good bolty shots, too. Well, the Punisher 4 not... Punisher 5 not done. We need the PM pistol. Yeah, so we're pretty much done with woods, right? Oh, my goodness. going to mark one more thing. Does this lead in anything? No. It does not. Okay. So I'm not as concerned with doing that one yet. Do that later. So we need... Modify OPS cast to comply with the given speci specifications. I can do that. Big. Okay, so back to shoreline. This one I'm pretty sure is in the unlocked room. Yeah. I kind of want to bring the bolty because like we can use we can use it. But then I think what we do is bring in three weapons. There we go. Yeah, easy. Okay, so let's go back to shoreline and see. Don't need markers, don't need markers. Just need kills. Don't need markers. A lot of running. Let's get it done. <clears throat> but yeah, as far as like the skins, I wish they would have added new clothing instead of just selling ones that you could already get in game. But, you know, if their priority isn't adding new skins to the game right now and working on cosmetics, I'm also okay with that. I don't think it took them too long or too much effort to add these skins up for sale and it lays the framework for doing it in the future. So I don't find it to be that big of a deal personally. I can go right here and maybe catch a uh, player. I need two more kills with a bolt over, 40, over 80 meters. So I brought the bolt action in. What's after that quest? After Tarkov Shooter 4? Tarkov Shooter 5. I don't remember what it is exactly. I'd have to look. Another bolt action quest. I don't think we're getting anyone over here. No sweat. Nighttime customs. Scabs. Oh, that one's easy. Okay, cool. No problem there. Damn. Tarkov Shooter 4 is way harder than 5. Imagine arguing EOD isn't pay to win. I mean... I think all that comes down to is what you consider pay to win is if you take the very literal like pay to win It's not It's just because you have EOD. It's not gonna not gonna get you a win Like pay to win in my mind is like if you if you don't buy it You, you don't you don't stand a chance on winning like that's pay to win Or rather if you do buy it, it's guaranteeing you a win. Let's put it that way That's pay to win in my mind You can have EOD and you'll still fucking lose now, if the, your definition of it is pay for any sort of advantage is pay to win, which neither is right or wrong, then yeah, EOD is definitely pay to win, right? Like, ain't no doubt about it. You get an advantage having a three by three uh, safety container. And then on top of that, a larger stash right off the start allows you to get a little bit of a head start. And so early wipe would make a big difference. If you're playing mid wipe or, you know, after the first two weeks, not really much of a difference there on the stash size. Because you could have uh, a lot of the standard accounts will, will have upgraded by then. Or if you're starting in late, having EOD, you're not getting much of an, an advantage because the standard accounts could have upgraded. But the 3x3 three three container is big. 
So I think all that really comes down to is what you consider pay to win, like how where, where your definition lies on it. I don't think there's anyone right, right or wrong answer. If you think having EOD is going to get you a win in Tarkov. Not as likely. Anyone is defined as an advantage. If that's what you would define it as. I don't think there's a, a dictionary definition of it, though. I think me being on this standard account is perfect proof that EOD is not pay to win. I don't think someone having EOD has um, won them a fight against me. Actually, we'll keep that out before this one. He's built different. I think what I said makes perfect sense. Like I said, it just lies within no and no answers right or wrong. It just lies in your your personal opinion on what pay to win is. Now you go touch the bodies down here. It's really not that big of a deal. Like it's not like at the end of the day, does it really matter on what one would consider pay to win is? No. Everyone's entitled to their opinion on it. And at the end of the day, for me, it's just an opinion. Checking all these scabs for PM pistols. There we go. Like I said, there's an advantage. There's no denying that. A quest? Um, a couple quests actually. I have to touch all the bodies, which are cottage, pier, and resort. I need to kill 12 scouts to the shotgun. I need to um, hopefully pick up two more PMC kills over 80 meters with the bolt. There's that. Need to hit the missing informant. Got to get up into a resort. And that's all. I could ditch the shotgun too, honestly. Is there another shotgun quest coming up for spot two or something? Cottage is open again. Okay, I think the dead bodies are in the corner over here. Probably should be hitting all duffel bags too, looking for the uh, PM pistol and checking all these scavs. That scav had a shotgun. But there was one more that talked over here. Is there a way to vault up to the sniper scavs up north? Some people were saying there was, but I think they might have mistaken me asking about and, and thought I was talking about woods. All right, we can do this on the way out. We got to get to the ambulance in the middle of this. And we got to go to West 303. There were shots in here, though. Which I don't mind a little bit of action.
No, he's got M1A. J. I can see why he didn't take it. There are a lot of duffel bags at resort as well. If we wanted to try to loot those and see if we can't score a PM pistol. Bring food. I did. And hydration. And I found some food just now, so. Gold in there. I need to find a Ledex because I, uh, I'm not too far off of level 36. And we need a Ledex by then. 35, yeah. Not 36. A lot of duffel bags in the basement, but I'm going to go grab 303 first. I bet one round on streets committed to looking for the pistol, we get it. Grab the journal. 306 we have to go in too. Yep, nice. Boom. We would have otherwise needed this key. See if anyone's taking the car out. They have. Okay. I bet if we stopped looking for the PM pistol, we'd get it. Seems to be how that works. And we're now overweight. Oh, wait. I have to go touch the... Bodies of the ambulance. Ooh. Harvey wants to go kill this guy. If he opened up 306, then that can really help with uh, Lindley's. I'm pretty sure. No, crab walking doesn't make any audio. Unless you're like in the red and then I think it might. And he's doing 205, okay. It wouldn't hurt to go check West 216 though. I should have looked. Like, while I'm here, right? I'm gonna skip over 216. Because I gotta go to the... Um, body over here at the shack the house and since I'm heavy it's gonna take me a bit I bet I bet one raid on one raid on on streets and we get it he has it Big. 
Okay, you just gotta touch the house and then we're out. We got plenty of time. Just gotta go in this house and then we're out. I probably gonna go tunnel actually. Avoid going over to path the lighthouse. Just loot up the map. You don't you don't need an expensive key. We are almost there. Great, actually. It was a big one. Got a lot done there. Boom. Yeah, we need bare dog tags. That's uh, 20 KD, 62% survival. All right, we got Punisher now. Okay, let me grab this guy we've been saving. I think I'm gonna trade this one out for this guy. Got him. Got our mags. Got our sight. Got our grip. Get you. Yeah, this is pretty much a meta build. I think it is I think exactly a meta build minus the, the suppressor. Or not suppressor, but the uh, grip. And even then, that grip is minimal. We gotta make good use of it. Again, I gotta make use of this gun. This is the only SVDS I have that's meta, and the other one's gonna be stock. There it is. How heavy is this? 1.2 kilograms. That's fine. 31.9. I think we still bring it in. Just better safe than sorry. It's pretty heavy. How big does that hang off my back, though? Not too bad. All right. I think we go to woods. We go to woods. What's our ergo on this bad boy? 29.5 Oof 34.5 I think this is it right here I should have to mark a few things on woods 